Namaste angels. I'm going to do a client reading and it's one that I wanted to do. Um, I guess two Saturdays ago, I wanted to, um, I had just gotten the, the water at that time and I wanted to get it in with the other ones that I was doing and post it then, but it had, there's a lot of questions, um, involved here and it's varying topics. Um, on which the questions are, there's money questions, there's relationship questions, there's, and I want to be able to fit everything into the hour. Um, and to answer all the questions, I'm thinking I may leave time at the end. So I'm going to have to do, um, like a precise spread. And I just went into meditation, like to ask the angels, um, how they would have me do it. And so they did want me to do, uh, at least in part, um, what would be a more traditional reading for me. And then, um, to do a, a cross spread with my abundance cards with the relation to the money questions. And this is somebody who's watched me before um, and is familiar with what I can do and how I work. And so like they asked about, you know, deceased relatives, because sometimes I have deceased relatives that come through that I communicate with. They asked about that. They asked about, like I said, money issues and very specific. Should I buy this property? Should I do that? Should I do that? Um, they asked about relationship stuff. So it's like all, it's not even like one focus. And so that's why I, I needed a moment um, to really be clear and all about this particular reading. Um, before I wanted, not that I'm not about every single reading that I, that I do. That's not what I mean. I just want to, with, with, with all the questions and everything and all that I had to remember, um, I just wanted to be particularly focused. And again, to get guidance from the angels as to how exactly they would have me do the spread. Um, so anyway, I got a moment now and I'm doing so many divine light cleanses lately that I'm, I'm happy to be able to fit this in. I'm not complaining about doing so many divine light cleanses. I'm thrilled over the moon about it because I think it really, really helps people. Um, I have a client that just got married on Sunday. And when I tell you six weeks ago, if I'm lying, I'm dying, you know, may I be stricken right now. Six weeks ago, masculine had moved out moved in with another woman. They weren't, they were in separation, not speaking, no contact and now married. And I have another one that just got engaged today. So divine light cleanse is popping. Um, so we thank God again for that. All right. So I'm going to get into this. Um, begin with my Tony Carmine Salerno universal love Oracle and creativity to see if I'm going to, if I'm shown a, a relationship, um, or at least a divine union at all opening to embrace, which is about a, one's need for balance. And there may be a particular need for balance because I also, in my romance angel cards, um, I'm going to begin with unrequited love, which can sometimes mean unrequited love, but often also means for me, like somebody has an imbalance. So embrace is about imbalance too, because it's, Contrary to how it appears, it looks like two people in a very, you know, tight, beautiful hug. Um, it's really not. It's one person's inner masculine and feminine coming together. So creativity back and opening to forgiveness. Birth. This is about new beginnings. So maybe through creativity, we can birth some new beginnings. One more. Healing sounds, need for meditation, perhaps to heal the imbalance. When I pull this card, um, especially for myself, I like, oh, excuse me, I like, um, like bin binaural tones and I feel that they have a binaural tone for just about anything you would want to do. So if it's, in, you know, in order to come into balance, they absolutely have that. But music is, a, is healing sounds too. Music makes me feel good. Healing sounds down at the bottom. I'm going to cut. Emergence. This is a card about rising from the ashes. I always like to picture 
or imagine that the darkness must be on the bottom with all this yellow here and then the white light too, the rays of white light, um, which is like Christ light shining down on her crown, throat chakra maybe, here to her eyes, third eye, um, that this is healing because she's, she's risen up and on the bottom underneath there must be where the darkness was like from when she came so she's risen above that now that she's emerged so the overall energy is fear and I'm done I'm just going to lay five cards and see if they indicate that there may be a divine union here on which I'm about to work physical body I'm getting that somebody that it may be a, somebody may be going through an actual healing a physiological or, or physical uh, healing or change improvement it's it's positive that's all this yellow and orange The goddess, which is about surrender, that will help you to overcome the fear. Just allowing the universe to guide you on this customer's case, client's case, Allah, it's a Muslim. Moon tree. Okay. Wow. So this would indicate that there's a divine union uh, in our midst. Because moon tree is all about sacred marriage. So it's the marriage between heaven and earth, first and foremost. But it's also the marriage between two sacred beings. Moon in particular may mean something for them too. Because there's moon here and the card next to it, moon. And this is, is also would be not just the goddess, but, you know, we could take it a step further, the goddess of the moon. This is all about the need for um, to embrace one's feminine energy and also to surrender. And here, the gateway is about the journey beginning. Okay, so it looks like that's with what we're dealing, but maybe a fear block. So if there's a relationship, maybe it hasn't been working out because of that. Opening now to divine guidance. I'm going to do another spread. And there's another moon here for them. So again, this may be particularly important for them. Um, maybe that's in part why I was guided to wait. Because I believe in divine timing. So like when I, if I want to do something at a particular date, a particular time, and I, I don't trip off of stuff like that. I'm just like, okay, like, you know, it's, it's time to move on to, am I, can I do this other person's reading? I can. Great. Can I do this other person's cleanse? Sure. Thank you. You know, and I just keep it moving. Because everything has its time. So it's possible that I was meant to wait until closer to, let's say, the new moon that, that's about to approach. Today's the 17th. We have that huge new moon um, and solar eclipse on the 21st. So just four days away. Wow. And opening to sacred union. Here's another indicator. And we got a lot of this blue and purple um, and green here. So again, the, the an indication of and be a need for healing between some people and opening to this fear again. Fear of the sacred union, wanting to run from it. Maybe having something to do with the religion. It's not, you know, seen as appropriate or something maybe. There's some ideologies of which we need to let go. Some old patterns, belief systems, habits that don't seem to fit. A client had asked me, about Haram, which would be like um, things that are prohibited, you know, that you can't do. She was asked in relation to like how readings and the journey, you know, fits um, into Islam and specifically as it relates to reincarnation. And my answer was it does not. Um, people that believe in a monolithic God tend not to believe in reincarnation. The idea is 
um, you know, the body, the body remains at rest um, and as a vessel for the soul, awaiting God's return to wake it up again, like only once, though. All right, anyway, so miracles. And now I will do my cross spread with this representing the feminine. The, this representing the masculine's feelings about the feminine as, of course, it relates to the union. And about himself. And about the union as a whole. Overall. The outcome. What the feminine can do or surrender toward the union and bringing it together. The masculine is willing to. So this is all from his perspective, from his higher self. And what the universe would have the two of them to do a surrender. Feminine needs to listen maybe to healing sounds or at least to the universe. Um, and also those deceased loved ones perhaps any any messages from afar let's call them um let's pay attention to those somebody may be an aquarius too because i started with that creativity card which always reminds me of aquarius and also pisces with this woman standing in the water um and holding a vessel to me it's like the water bearer and now this um, star shining down on this woman the star in the traditional tarot represents the sign of aquarius and also communication um electronic communication typically but it can be this kind of communication too again messages from those loved ones from the universe from from your um divine partner too like in a telepathic sense 5d masculine with regard to the feminine answered prayer so you know like what he's always wanted basically what he's been asking the universe for he has found about himself, physical body. So he may be the one that's going through something where trying to um, improve upon physical health. Um, and it may be aesthetic. I just got something that, there's re that there was really something to this physical body more than just surrender and vulnerability, but a need to heal an aspect of it in the physical sense. And the union celebration so in his mind it is coming together and he's uh, he's at least you know he's happy about it and this celebration card for me um it's all it also signifies like the divinity of a circumstance or in this case a, a relationship because this dove does to me it's, it's all it always stands out you know as very, being very pentecostal like the holy spirit um overall Transmutation. This is what the two of us, two of them are going through together. And you see here, it's the same colors and some of the same colors that are in the feminine's card. So this represents like the, what the couple is doing um, as a whole together. And then this, the masculine individually, and then this, the feminine individually. And so the three cards fit um, very well together and they're all going toward this healing. So she needs to be open to messages and then following them, receiving and you know, following the guidance, acting accordingly. He um, needs to work on this physical health situation and the two of them will rise, you know, as a result or are and are currently, you know, on the ascend. Outcome, spiritual growth for both and, you know, and for the union as a whole. What can the feminine do um, or surrender toward this situation? So let go of the fear because you have, you know, you have help, you have support. And it certainly, in, at least in part, comes in the form of a guardian angel. You are protected. The masculine. He has to be, you know, like he has to let go of his fear too, basically. And, you know, begin to approach the union. And he's willing to do that because again, this is comes from, this comes from his higher self. So we have the moon tree back representing sacred marriage. What he's willing to do is to acknowledge that. And maybe that's what's caused for celebration as well. That's another reason for celebration with these cards here crossing. And what would the universe have the two of them to do and or surrender? Just that surrender um, and 
work on their feminine aspect. So go within and work on healing, you know, the feminine part of yourself. Male or female, both of you are, are guided to do that. And I guess now we see why miracles um, is the overall energy because this is all about all of these cards are, or a lot of them, you know, very like angelic. So it's all like blessings, like this answered prayer, spiritual growth, celebration, you know, sacred marriage, this one rising to the top, transmutation, a goddess, this woman floating here, this one protected by an angel, you know, they all speak to this. And when I picked this up, speaking of um, needing to work on the feminine specifically, that embrace card is back behind it, um, indicating a need to come into balance, both sides. And when I picked that up, also upright, but behind it is this sacred union again. So we can feel good about that. With that, I'm going to go to my angel tarot. To see what we can see about life. Because um, there were some things going on there too. Beginning with the aid of earth. Skills work is rewarded. Learning all there is to know about a topic. And maybe going back to school. This is about uh, reaping what you've sown. Right? The seven of earth, for example, is all about patience. Like we've planted the seeds. We're waiting for them to grow. This is about the fact that they've grown. We've tended to them. We did all the work that we needed to do. And now it's time for us to collect that reward. And opening to the star, just talking about the star a moment ago. It, this is the star from the tarot. Again, represents the sign of Aquarius or perhaps other air sign. Happy times make positive, optimistic, long-term plans. You're on the right path. Um, we had that answered prayer card in the other spread. This is also an answered prayer card in the tarot. This is considered answered prayer, uh, dreams come true, wishes granted, all those things. And it can also be about um, like upcoming communication or an indication that you need to do some communication and perhaps specifically electronic communication, texting, email, online dating, like all this kind of stuff. Eight of Earth back, opening to the 10 of air, the end of a difficult situation, embrace the change. So here's this word embrace again, embrace the change and expect things to get better. Like don't focus on the fact that they have been difficult and keep that on your mind. Acknowledge the fact that the difficult phase is ending and know that that means that from here on out, with difficulties fading, things will be better. We don't have to you know, remain stuck in that old energy anymore. So you're guided to let it go. Ten of air. And the chariot with Archangel Metatron, which represents the sign of cancer or the water sign. An important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. Chariot also about modes of transportation, planes, trains, automobiles, um, and it can be travel too. And it can be metaphoric, it can be moving on, moving forward, all those sort of things. It can be moving house too, in a more literal sense, or moving jobs or something. Ten of air and the nine of air. So somebody does have a lot of like negativity on their mind and that's keeping them up at night. And this, we really have to let go of this and again, expect things to get better. This is expecting the worst and self-fulfilling prophecies. This is manifesting negativity in your life and, and sleepless nights. Ten of air. Two of fire. This is the twin flame card or divine union card of the tarot. The two of wands. You've come into your own new partnerships or contracts. Continue to move forward. The two of earth is also sticking up though. So I think it wants to be seen. Two of earth is about the need for balance again. Um, it can be the need to make a decision. For me, it's also like deja vu from hell. Um, it's when we keep finding ourselves in the same place, you know, and like without progress, like we've been here before and, you know, we need to do something different this time. Otherwise things are going to come out the same. The definition of insanity is to continue to, you know, do something the same way, expecting a different result. It's not going to happen. It means you're nuts to do that to a birth. Ten 
this to a fire can also be in a more general sense, yes, an indication that maybe you should go into some sort of business partnership. Um, because it represents partnerships that they don't have to be romantic. This is coming together um, with another party to work on something, be it a relationship, um, again, a business, both. Also, cards can have more than one meaning. It can be a re relationship with one person and a business, you know, with another. And coming to the Ace of Air. So we have the Chariot, which can be about victory. Ace of Air as well can be about victory. Brilliant new ideas and inspirations. Seeing the truth of a situation and a challenging beginning. This, the Ace of Air also, yes, definitely about um, truth coming out. Um, you demanding the truth. You know, not settling for anything less, cutting right through the crap to, the, you know, the, the heart of the matter. Um, they say a, a difficult beginning or challenging beginning. I, I say a beginning nonetheless. It's really important to think positive in a general sense um, and to look forward to having an opportunity to have a new beginning. Look forward to waking up the next day, you know, God willing, uh, inshallah, and being able to have a beginning. Because some people are not going to get a beginning. So I don't really like this challenging beginning um, word. But, um, you know, it is what it is. Ace of Air can, again, be an Aquarius, or maybe Gemini, or Libra. And it may be an actual person. Um, could be your energy or somebody else who um, helps to facilitate whatever the Ace of Air does. So, again, victory, um, cutting through the crap. Um, cutting people that no longer, people, places, and things actually that no longer belong in your life out, all that kind of stuff. Overall energy is the Queen of Fire, who's confident, warm, intelligent, and graceful, and a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, or somebody taking on those attributes or traits. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. Queen of Fire, the, like we just had that two of fire, the two of wands, and I said it represents like divine union, divine couples in the tarot. The Queen of Fire would be one of those, would be the feminine aspect. So she represents, that card represents the divine feminine as the tarot goes. The masculine is the nine of earth, enjoying life's little luxuries, spending quiet time alone and successful self-employment. This is like being alone, but not being lonely, like enjoying yourself, liking yourself, loving yourself, having a good time with you. Surrounded by the six of water, memories from your history or childhood, issues regarding children and romanticizing the past. This can also be about soulmates, you know, soulmate relationships, divine unions, the six of water. And it often means that somebody's about to come back into your life. That can be the masculine coming back into yours or vice versa. And in his subconscious, release with Archangel Azrael, the end of a phase or a situation, spiritual transformation, just like we saw in the other spread, it's time to move on like from the past. Release is also known as the death card in the traditional tarot and represents the sign of Scorpio or other water signs. So now we've seen the evidence of both Scorpio and Cancer. The feminine page of air, logical, honest, impulsive, and curious is the page of air, challenging information, delays or changes to plans and truth delivered without tact. The, the page like the ace is a Gemini um, Libra or Aquarius. And this card can be about delay and it can be about truth bombs, as I like to call them, like dropping the truth on somebody, not holding back, saying what needs to be said, like the ace of air demands, um, or having that, you know, done to you, somebody just laying it on you. Surrounded by the 10 of fire, too much work, except help from others. Life is out of balance. That leads to stress related health concerns. 
and the two of others need to make a decision. Being unable or will, unwilling to make said decision and pretending there's no problem at all. Just ignoring it, hoping it'll go away. Crowning, awakening. Here is Pisces, awakening with Archangel Gabriel. Look at things from a different perspective. You're at a temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. Um, awakening is the hangman in the traditional tarot. And yes, for me, it does represent the sign of Pisces because that confusion in the limbo represents the planet Neptune to me. And Neptune rules Pisces. Um, this card gives one an opportunity, yes, to take a step back and to look at the bigger picture. And it is important to be yourself in that moment, to not be fraudulent, to not be wearing a mask, to because you can't really see the big picture if, if you're, you know, looking through rose colored glasses or, you know, you got, you've got a mask on and you really have to be vulnerable, similar to um, how the feminine appeared in the other spread and, you know, fully honest, fully truthful, like a page of air would be or an ace of air would be. And then look at the situation and be honest about it. And again, act accordingly. Or don't, you know, like whatever's, whatever's appropriate. At the root, it's the five of air, an unwise choice. Learn what you can from this situation. Review everyone's motives. The five of air for me is about having, it's, a, it's conflict, um, but it's conflicts in which we ourselves had a hand. And maybe that's why there's a need for a decision now. We've got to like, we, we created something, so we have to resolve it. Um and this doesn't mean maliciously, necessarily, or intentionally. Sometimes inadvertently, we set the wheels of motion uh, in effect and, you know, they work against, our, against us we, or we work against ourselves. This awakening can also um, have to do with a third person and or energy being involved um, in the situation because of this, the 12 that equals three there. And at the heart of the matter, the queen of air independent, experienced, realistic, and witty, objective decision-making, clearing away all that no longer serves you and seeing the, huth, the truth in a situation. So truth is about to come out. It may have something to do with this soulmate relationship and or about children. Um, we haven't been looking at the situation qu quite right uh, just yet. And so we need to look at it again, take a step back, look at it again wrong angles and, and see all the sides and be honest about it um, with ourselves first and foremost. And that may guide you to put some of these wands down. This is like laying down your burdens, this ten of fire. And you may be deciding somebody to cut from your life that maybe they're making you feel burdened and or burdensome upon somebody else or upon them, um, making you feel guilty about needing them for help or something like that. You may need to decide whether or not to cut this person off. I'm going to go to my romance cards to see if it has anything to do with that. And starting with unrequited love, it can be a romantic situation, um, on either side or both where somebody needs to be cut off that love you know isn't true because we have a divine union here so how can love somewhere else be true you know with either of these people there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going again this card also for me um, can be about balance the need to come into balance Opening to healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, but it's not just your parents. It's anybody who is so impactful upon your life that they would, um, their actions or beliefs or statements would prohibit you from moving forward in, you know, not only your life, but maybe specifically your love life. If you feel stifled by anybody, whether it's your parents or anyone else, you have to heal that relationship. And one way to heal it is by, is by repairing it, of course. But another way is, yes, cutting them off, as I was just feeling a moment ago. And what, and what the queen of air um, is best at, you know, to clearing away all that no longer serves you. That includes, you know, relate, toxic relationships, too. All people, places, and things that would hold you back. Opening to heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Unrequited love. And passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. 
unrequited love. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Sometimes we have to pull away. This can be representing the masculine. He's already alone. Pull away in order to, you know, decide what we want and love on ourselves some, all that kind of stuff. Retreat now at the bottom. I'm going to cut. Get these nice and mixed up. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. The overall energy is it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Here atop the nine of earth, separation. Okay, the masculine's by himself because he has, he um, is at least one of the people who has had to break away from someone, pull away from someone. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. And I mean, that may apply to the feminine. I more so feel that the, the reason he's already by himself is because he was one of the people that had um, the third party. This sits here next to this hanged man, which again is a three, a third party, a third energy. And that's why he's had to pull away. He separated himself from that. Atop the six of water. Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. There can be something from his childhood, uh, you know, that dictates his current lifestyle and or behavior, ideologies, belief systems, patterns. Um, and he's got to let go of those things in order to move forward. And this is why it sits here next to the queen of air, who again is good at cutting out people, places, and things that, you know, stunt, um, and debil debilitate our growth here atop release or death is healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Well, similar to the queen of air, the death card is about, you know, ending situations, um, of all kinds, toxic family issues too, and relationships one way or another crossing the queen of air. It can be about the need for the masculine to cut out somebody from his family and family can include a romantic partner. So if he was married or had a girlfriend or something, um, especially if they had a child together, like somebody who's who even, you know, would be like a, um, family member, even if they're not, you know, blood related or legally tied to you by marriage. Um, anybody you consider family, that's with whom there's an issue and, or an actual person that he's needed to let go. And it would seem at least in part that there was yeah, a, a romantic relationship with somebody and he's had to end it. Um, here atop the page of air to do what pages of air do best talk and again, drop truth bombs on you is heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So that's what a page of air does best. page of air again is honest and, you know, impulsive. That's what, that's a description of the page of air. Top the 10 of fire. I said you had to let go of your burdens, lay your burdens down. This, yes. Romance angels guiding you to do the same exact thing. Let go of control issues and allow this situation to unfold naturally. So they are reaffirming that message of laying down your burdens. Here atop the two of air, passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So the answer to this question and the decision what should you do is to follow your heart and your passions crowning atop the hangman is awakening. I mean, or atop awakening rather the hangman is very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So you're taking that step back to look at the big picture and being truthful and being your honest self to decide once and for all, what do I want? And not, no, no, like pretend really 
What do you want? Honestly, what do you want? And then it will come to you. That's how you manifest what you want into your life. Here atop the five of air, calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So in this position like this, this can be representing somebody having been conflicted about calling in their soulmate. Like I want to, is it okay? Is it all right? I don't know if it's, you know, right to do this, but yes. So that's like you were conflicted with yourself. And here atop the queen of air, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. I'm going to keep moving quickly and now see what the ascended masters would add to this, beginning with health and healing and hilarion. And teacher, which tends to me tends to be um, with me about like experience and what we've learned from some of our experiences and, and, and the healing process too. And how that promotes growth, health and healing. And meditate, says Buddha. That can include the healing sounds. That's a form of meditation too. Health and healing. Focus on your strengths, says Apollo. Health and healing. And balance career and home life, says Isis. So this is another um, way of describing that two of earth card that was peaking. Um, you got to find time. It's about being able to, it's about finding time for work and play, essentially. Health and healing and listen. So again, you may want to meditate using music and or healing sounds. And just being quiet sometime and listening to the universe and your angels guidance. We're back to teacher. The overall energy is purification with white Tara, which is very similar to the queen of air for me. It's about detoxing your life, cutting away or getting rid of people, places, and things that are toxic to you, purifying yourself of them. Top separation and the nine of earth is spiritual law of attraction, which is basically the law of attraction. <laughs> um, what we get, we give. We, you know, um, what we give, we get rather. What we, we reap what we sow. Um, what we put out is what we get back. A top forgiving and learning and the six of water. Focus upon your strengths, says Apollo. So this is about the masculine needing to draw upon his power um, in forgiving and learning and moving on from a circumstance. Here atop healing family issues and <laughs> um, release or death is twin flame. So again, what has been coming through and continues to come through is the masculine releasing a toxic romantic relationship to make room for this one with you. Here are top heart to heart conversations. Right, says thought. So maybe you're to write an email, write a letter. Um, maybe it's supposed to be electronic, like the sign of um, Aquarius. So yes, an email, a text or something in order to initiate this conversation. Because right sitting here on top the page of air, which is what the page of air does. The page of air is a communicator um, and heart to heart conversations. This whole pile here is saying it, it's time to communicate some stuff. And also there's another moon here. 
So not just about communication, but about maybe Mercury in general and Mercury, which is retrograde right now in Virgo, which it also rules. Um, and the moon, this could definitely be talking about again, right now, um, this period right now before the new moon and the full solar eclipse on Monday, because all of that is falling within the parameters of the Mercury retrograde in Virgo which is what this pile is saying to me. It's screaming Mercury retrograde in Virgo. <laughs> um, here, the top let go of control issues and the 10 of fire is see the other person's point of view. So you have been having some difficulty with somebody. Again, they're making you to feel uh, burdened and or burdensome. You are guided by the angels and the romance angels specifically to lay down those burdens and to rid yourself of this difficulty, you know, walk away from this person if you have to. Um, but that doesn't mean that you don't look again at the big picture. It's here crossing the hangman um, and, and see their, per their point of view as well. Here atop passion and the two of air. In addition to having to heal your relationship with your own inner feminine, it looks as if you may also have to heal a relationship with your mother, wife, sister, daughter. And I'm feeling mother uh, most strongly. A relationship that you either need to repair or unfortunately, sometimes people have to even walk away from their mother. And I, that is um, in part what the decision has to do with, I think. But again, you're guided to, in this regard, follow your heart. What does your heart tell you to do? Take a step back. Look at her point of view too. consider all options. Look at the big picture and then decide what is my heart telling me to do and then make the decision. Here atop very soon. And was this? Oh yeah. The hangman. I just got finished talking about that. You can do it says Archangel Michael. So you can make the decision and then follow through on it is what he's saying. Here a top calling in your soulmate and the five of air we've learned our lessons and our experience. And we by you know, whatever this turmoil we put ourselves to was like mental anguish. Um, and maybe even causing, it, it manifested in the form of real friction between us. So we've learned from that and we're ready to move forward to again with the calling in of the soulmate, um, who apparently is also our quote unquote twin flame or again, divine union, which we confirmed in the first spread. But now we have this calling in your soulmate and, and the teacher, the experience of it, the learning process sitting here next to the quote unquote twin flame. And at the heart of the matter, a top stay optimistic about your love life. And the queen of air is choose peace. So this is even when we have to cut people off, not only do we want to see their point of view, um, not only do we want to focus on our strengths and do what we're best at in order to maintain, you know, as much status quo and, and as possible, but we want to, um, deal with these people and these situations with as much compassion and fairness, um, like a queen of air would equality, which is all love. Basically all of that equates to love. That's how we want to deal with them. Even people that will even romantic relationships that are over and we're breaking up with somebody, um, and we're divorcing. Maybe I didn't, although I didn't see any evidence of divorce. I didn't necessarily, I didn't see any like justice or judgment or anything like that, but you know, some sort of breakup, even with those people, we want to choose peace to the extent that we're able and sort of ease ourselves out of the situations with them and allow them to, you know, fall back just as easily. As long as we purify ourselves and in that sense, make way to our, uh, give way to our freedom. That's what matters. That's what's important. I want to give you some advice from these decks. Mm -hmm. 
From the Tony Carmine Universal Love Oracle, with which I started, Sorrow to the Masculine, and I think that's because of what he's going through. You know, he's very... It's it's been difficult, you know. Every time we have to go through these very emotional situations, um, you know, people have feelings. So having to let go of um, a person, spend some time alone, get to know you, get to like you, get to love you, and then um, to heal yourself enough to be ready to approach someone else um, for what can be a really, you know, scary to bring up that fear that popped up a couple times in the beginning. You know, it's so intense. It can be frightening um, what we're moving forward to. So in the, in the through that process, part of the experience and the learning, you know, there has been some sorrow attached to that, but it gets better. This is all part of letting go of the difficult and expecting things to get better. For you, from the Universal Love Oracle, transience, all about healing, which has been an overlying theme since I started shuffling the cards in the very, very beginning, um, talking about healing. And now you see this woman, again, fully vulnerable, nude, um, allowing rays to hit her at a very, you know, many like critical points, um, most focused here on this one, on her third eye chakra and the throat so she has something to say and this is going to help her to get to the masculine work on your magic work your magic rather says saint germain so like you know you created some situation you can fix it again uh, you have the tools and the wherewithal the ability to do that and to move forward to progress for you persistence says lou so even with this has um most felt difficult this situation here um and maybe like you've wanted to give up is you know as a result you're guided to keep going very soon um you can do it and very soon you will have achieved your desires for the masculine the four of air and this often turns up after sorrow after the three of air right to the next card the four of air time to rest or take a vacation allow more time before making a decision meditation may provide answers this is about healing and recovery um this card and maybe the need to retreat and spend some time alone again yes to think things through and make a decision what's your next move um after overcoming some hurt while in the process of overcoming some hurt for you the tower or life experience with archangel chamuel um this i think is coming through because yes it is connected to the business that you were thinking about um purchasing the tower is a big major event in your life um and it can also be often be about an actual tower an actual structure a building a home or a business having seen this now and also having seen the two of fire in the beginning about partnerships about moving on you are coming to your own it's time to sign contracts i'm saying yes um you are to move forward with the business a significant life event a powerful revelation that leads to change it's time to spread your wings this is the moment when your whole life is getting better okay your romantic life is getting better and you may, it may not manifest instantaneously but like the ten of air again we're coming out of the difficult energy expect things to get better and they progressively will you know in all areas of your life from the romance angels to you children your love life is being affected by children i don't know why this is coming through like it's not your children or even necessarily the masculines i mean okay oh i'll get it Cause I'm like, it's coming through like, it, and I'm hearing it's connected to this children. This is you and your siblings. This is your brother's business. I think you said that you were wanting to purchase from him. Yes. Go ahead and do that. And lastly, from the masculine, I mean, to the masculine from the romance angels, unrequited love is back. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. He is to, um, if he hasn't completely already let this relationship go, it's toxic. It's over, um, the end. And I think I have a few more minutes. I'm going to do a, I was going to do a spread with these, but I think I'm going to do a spread with the abundance, um, a the abundance angel cards for you.
because I pulled those out just in case too. They are down here. We're going to start with let go of guilt, which I think may be attached to that 10 of fire again. When you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done. Remember that five of, of air, and I said it was in your mind, the conflict. Um, bringing upon yourself, forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done. Like if you think you haven't done enough and you're beating yourself up for that. Whatever the situation is, trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn, like that teacher, which lands at the top, that same five of um, air card. Learn and grow from your past mistakes instead of berating yourself for them. So that's saying that just what I, exactly what I just said. Stop beating yourself up. Ask for your needs to be met. God and the angels can come to your aid only if you make a free will choice to be helped. And it begins with asking. It doesn't matter how you ask God for help, but only that you do. The same holds true with clearly asking other people to assist you. Let go of guilt and conscious consumer. You have the power to heal and to help the world with your decision to only buy products and services that are ethical and environmentally friendly. As a conscious consumer, you choose to invest in fair trade, organic goods, and you live simply and you purchase only that which you need. Let go of guilt. And lastly, dreams of abundance. Remember the listening to messages from afar? As you sleep, God and your angels and your higher self are giving you divinely guided ideas. Remember the divine guidance card too with the, with the moon? Um, so I think, yes, this is gonna, that moon is going to bring a lot of um, new for you. As solar eclipses do, solar eclipses and new moons are both about new beginnings. Be sure to record your dreams in a journal. You can keep it like a, a notebook or something next to your bed, a pen. They contain valuable insights that will help you to manifest your desires into reality. So the idea is like as soon as you wake up, write, the, write your dreams down before you forget them. So you can try to figure out what the universe was trying to tell you. Let go of go. I'll go one more. Windfall of abundance. An increase in abundance is arriving in many different forms. Some of them unexpected. Remember the miracles? Be open to receiving and know that this abundance comes to you to support your life purpose, your health, and your charitable work. Let go of guilt. I'm going to cut. Successful funding. Your idea is divinely guided. So if you didn't know how you're going to pay for, let's say, your brother's business, I'm not suggesting that you don't have the money. I'm just giving you a new, for instance, um, this is saying, don't worry about it. The, again, from the windfall, um, the money's coming in creative ways from the universe. Your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gave you the idea. Don't allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into reality. Crowdfunding, partnerships right? To a fire and other investments are available to help you. The overall energy is detox your friendships with the two of you each needed to do. You both had somebody, it seemed, um, at least one somebody of whom you needed to let go. Your abundance flow is being affected by the people with whom you're spending your time. So be discerning about associations and relationships. Choose to be with people who are inspiring, generous, and supportive. This is two cards. I, Masculine got two cards here. Take a divinely guided chance. All positive change and successful ventures 
involve a degree of risk and you're ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories as you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar. So this is about ending a relationship and maybe not a romantic. This can be the romantic one too, but maybe there was something else, a friendship or something else, a business partnership um, of whom he needs to let go also. As you leave behind that which was comfortable and familiar, um, but it's no longer appropriate for you. You make room for new and more meaningful opportunities. Just like I said before in the other spread, having to let go of a failed toxic relationship to make room for the twin flame one. Same thing. As he does that, that's going to open his abundance flow. And he also has to sever his vows to poverty. Dear one, there's no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial. He's in a place where he feels like he doesn't deserve, maybe because this, this relationship bombed. People blame themselves. Um, that's a block to him right now. This self-denial um, that he may have made consciously or unconsciously in any lifetime is holding him back. As you do so, as you release these things, all the effects of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time. Amen. Surrounded by focus on your priorities. Where you put your focus is where you receive your outcome. Your priorities are calling you, which may produce a feeling of anxiety. This is the fear. Unless you give them the time and attention that they and you deserve. Even a small, did I say he just, I just said he doesn't feel worthy or whatever. That's what's happening. Um, even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you to feel better and more confident. And in his subconscious savings, as you consistently save for your future, your future is saved. You do your, your future self a big favor as you consistently set aside present funds. This is part of your self care and a path to feeling secure as you focus upon your life purpose for you. Moonlighting. So here's this moon again. You can start working on your dream career part time while keeping your other job to pay the bills. Soon your dream career will take flight and fully support you. Surrounded by release resentments about money. So this again could be tied to that same situation that was sitting in this very same spot just a moment ago. Yes, the money system of the world can seem upsetting, but holding resentments about finances just pushes your abundance away. Instead, see money as a tool you can use to better the world. And this shift will help you attract support and golden opportunities. So rather than feeling burdened by it or burdensome upon somebody else because of it, release all of these um, attachments that are negative to it that you associate with it deservingness you've got the same problem as the masculine no wonder they're mirroring one another you don't feel you deserve these things you are a beloved child of god like everyone else and you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus upon your divine life purpose even if you can't yet recognize your lovable qualities trust that god and the angels can see how amazing you truly are crowning the union Windfall of abundance is back and, and what a beautiful placement for it to be in crowning the union An increase in abundance is arriving in many different forms. Some of them unexpected be open to receiving and know that this abundance comes to you to support your life purpose, health and charitable work. This can also be love. Abundance isn't all, always money. It's, you know, it's just positivity. It's just good things. Um, so yes, it's money, but it's also love. Absolutely. Let go of guilt at the root. When you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done. And notice where it landed right here, where that teacher and five of air um, and calling in your soulmate card were. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done and trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from your past mistakes instead of berating yourself for them. So it's time to stop beating yourself up. And at the heart of the matter, abundance mindset, sort of like attract the law of attraction. If you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future, then it will always be one day away from you. See, feel, think, and speak of abundance as something you already have in the present moment. And that is what you will experience. 
I hope that you enjoyed your reading, dear, and you find it helpful. Namaste, angel.